to Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men. The topic for this specific video is what does breakup resolution really look like for you? Resolution, you hear that word very often in breakup zone, right? It is something that says that the business of our relationship is over and we had a closure. We had a moment to check in be comfortable or understand that the breakup is, is, is consumed, that the relationship is, is done, that there is a conscious uncoupling experience going through. And so a resolution can look like a conversation that you might have with her, a place where you offer gratitude to each other, a place where you consciously decide to take distance from each other. And the thing is that very often this resolution never happens. Sometimes somebody, a partner, is going to step out of the relationship, out of the connection, uncouple without giving you either an explanation, no understanding. Sometimes they slam the door and they just leave. And so if you are in this situation, what do you need to have closure? Sometimes the closure is not going to happen. It's not going to come from your ex. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to stay there uh, frustrated for the rest of your life? or find a way to deal with it and to move on with your existence. And so the closure, let's look first at the dynamics inside of you. For instance, imagine that you did something that you feel guilty about. There is something in your field, you know, you might have screamed at her or got really angry with her, or you might have cheated on her, or did something that was not cool in the context of the relationship, right? And you feel guilty about it. So the way to find closure for yourself first is to understand, is there something that I did that I would do differently in the future if I was exposed to the same situation again? It's a very simple one. You check in internally and you look at the exact change in the behavior that you would make for yourself. And then if you have an opportunity to apologize to her, to say, look, two weeks ago when I said these things, I was way out of line. I regret I said these things. If I was exposed to the same situation again, here's what I would say instead. Okay, so you modify your behavior so that you don't drag this thing in the guilt zone in your system. So that's strategy number one. Strategy number two, it is that if your ex did something and just, she just took off, there is a way to be okay with that. And this is to be like, she's a human being. That's what human beings sometimes do. It is to have an understanding. See, the place where you can feel hurt or the place where you can feel frustrated is hoping that life is like a little square here. This is how we are supposed to be behaving as human beings. We are supposed to be doing things in that way. A girlfriend or a wife, my partner is supposed to be behaving that way. Why did she do that to me? Why did she betray me? Why did she break up? She wanted to get married and now she's divorcing me? What's going on there? She's a human being. She changes her mind. She evolves. So there is a part of you that simply needs to be in a place of acceptance and release and looking at the wisdom of relating to another human being, which means that human beings do this kind of things all the time. They change their minds. They are not fixed within a rational box. They don't behave in the limits of what you might expect. And so when you see somebody stepping out of that box that you have prepared for them and they just break that model, what are you going to do about it? You're going to be like, it's human life. That's the way things go. It's impermanent. Things change. They evolve. Feelings change. This woman loved me one day and then she no longer loved me. It's fine. It's perfect. This is in alignment with what's supposed to be happening in your life. It's not a mistake from existence. 
The mistake is believing that this program that you had for your life was a fixed form. The moment you play with flexibility and you allow yourself to go in the flow of jumping from one relationship to the next, that's called wisdom. And that's called flexibility. It's integrating yourself and your life into this flow of what we call impermanence. You see, being able to play with that and being able to flow with that is one of the core skills to navigate a breakup really healthily and very fast. I'll see you soon.